Hey guys, it's Hoops to Be back with another Bee Swarm Simulator video. And today we've got links about the digital bee. Yeah, it's kind of out, sort of. Yeah, not really, because, well, Honored has closed the test realm for testing. And uh, oh, look at Buddy. <laughs> look at Buddy. He's trying to get on the platform. Come on, Buddy, get up here. That's our oh, buddy. You just run it off every time. There we go. That's better. Uh, look, guys, we're going to be talking about the digital B. Yeah, this, this here. Boom. This is it. Yeah, these are the two faces of the digital B. So, yeah, that looks pretty uh, okay. But wait till you see the actual picture later. All right. Anyway, so this is the digital B here, guys. We've got some screen grabs. Thanks, Gingerbread Zach, for providing this in the Discord for me. So, uh, this is the digital B here. Uh, it's an event B, guys. So, we only get to have one of them in our hive, which is not much fun. This is the gifted digital B version. Now, I'm not actually a big fan of this, guys. It's not as pretty as the other one. Look at that star it's actually hidden anyway so and on it goes on to say basically digital b creates glitch versions of other ability tokens you collect that hover over the field for a long time and only collected by standing under them for one second allowing you time for buffs abilities together or to activate them during specific moments. The chance for abilities to be duped is dependent on the field's corruption level, which is raised by Digital B's ability. Basically what it does is it just copies the other tokens you've got, so you're gonna multiply things. But here is the Digital B, guys. It's Event B, it's colorless, it's got 20 energy, its speed is, well, 11. Uh, its attack is one. Uh, yeah, it collects pollen at, yeah, 10 at four seconds and 80 at four. It's not very good, guys. <laughs> it's not a very good B. Uh, gifted Hive Bonus is 1% ability duplication chance. Wow. So I guess we're going to have to see what this uh, duplication ability actually looks like. Ha! Get up here, buddy. Buddy, get over here. Stop running off the edge. Buddy! Oh, but don't do it, buddy! Oh. Don't do it, buddy. Come back. Come back over here. Wow, he keeps jumping off the edge. All right, so let's keep on moving. It's a glitch. Here we go, guys. Corrupts the field. You're in for 15 seconds. One second per level, granting collected ability tokens a chance to be du duplicated or duped. Dupe tokens hover over the field for a duration equal to the lifespan of the original ability token by two. 10% uh, digital B level. Uh, standing beneath a dupe token for one second causes it to activate. Now, what that actually means, guys, if we have a look at the actual picture here, you can see that this is the dupe tokens here. And, uh, well, they're like hovering above the field. That's what that uh, black and white circle thing was. So that means it's corrupted. Uh, so, yeah, you stand under that and then you get that token again. So you get to multiply your tokens out. Looks like we could have a little bit more lag in this game. Anyway, uh, so you're increasing the field's corruption, increases the chance of abilities to be duplicated and boost the pollen collection and instant conversion. Enhancing digital B with drives uh, causes this ability to grant more corruption. Colored drives increase corruption of fields with matching flowers, where glitch drives increase corruption of all fields. What? All fields? Yeah, while this is active, uh, digital B may occasionally spawn tokens, activating a token temporarily increases the field's corruption causes all dupe tokens to be activated collects pollen equal to 50% of digital bees gather them out wow this is complicated guys uh, basically yeah the frequency of the yeah digital tokens increases with the number of glitch drives digital bee has been enhanced with so we got to get more digital drives for digital B. that's gonna level him up it's pretty impressive, but yeah, I'd like to see this in action, guys. I'm waiting for the test realm to come back online. But wait, there's more. There's mind hack. Yes, it's disabled, not working at the moment. Hacks the minds of up to five nearby enemies, uh, stunning them for three seconds. While hacked, the enemies take 20% more damage. Hacking is only half as effective as against boss. Wait, hacking is only half as effective against bosses? Well, what's it going to be hacking the mind of then? Isn't all the enemies bosses? Uh, I'm confused. Uh, if it's in a field, this also spawns as a token. Oh, okay. Well, maybe it's going to work on the ad field or something. I don't know. Well, it's compute. Oh, okay. Maybe it's specifically for the Robo Bear challenge. 
Oh, yeah, maybe that's what it is. I don't know. Anyway, oh. gifted ability, map corruption. Oh, it continues, guys. It continues. Digital B corrupts a random field by a small amount for all players in the server for three minutes. The amount of corruption is increased by the number of drives Digital B has been enhanced with. Wow. Fields with more flowers matching the color of the most recent colored drive you've used are more likely to be selected. Wow, this is amazing, guys. This is amazing. Uh, but, yeah, that looks like this would be great if you could actually play with friends. Yeah. Imagine that, guys. Imagine you can actually play this game with friends. Because, well, currently you can't. It's kind of very laggy still. Oh, wow. This is, looks like it's going to add more lag. Great. But wait, there's more. Passive drive expansion. Using a drive while this bee is active in RoboBear's challenge corrupts the field you're standing in by an amount proportional by the number of flowers that match the drive's color. I wonder if uh, Spirit Bear wrote all of this stuff. Uh, yeah, it's going on and on, guys. Uh, additionally, it permanently enhances the bee's increase in the corruption of its abilities and granting the following stats. A red drive is plus 0 0.03 attack. What the? Blue drive, two conversion amount. Uh, white drive, 0.25 gather amount. And glitch drive is 0.05% ability rate. Every 10 glitch drive enhancements also grants high bonuses. Uh, digital B can be enhanced with up to 500 of each type of drive. What the? Seriously? 500? That's a lot. Uh, you can view the number of enhancements by clicking on Digital B's hive slot. Upon maxing out with all 2,000 drives, Digital B gains 10 movement speed. 2,000? Oh, wow. Yeah, okay, we're going to be playing this game for a long time. And here is the picture again. Yeah, as you can see, guys, you want to turn your pollen numbers off. You want basically not to be a blue hive as well, because I think it's just going to be way too busy. You can't even see the field when you've got that many bees and balloons and bubbles and everything. So, yeah, crazy times coming. Crazy times coming. All right, so there's the field corruption by 100 uh, there's a 30% ability duplication chance, there's a 1.11 1 .1 duped ability pollen and 8% instant duped ability conversion. So yeah, that's uh, that's a basic digital B. Wow, that's like maxed out probably. So yeah, this is the digital B. Amazing. I love it. This is the not as amazing gifted B. So yeah, there is that as well guys. So, yes, a digital bee is coming soon. Uh, we're waiting for it to be opened in the test room. Maybe I'll do another video. I don't know, guys. It's a lot of information. It's a lot of information. And it looks like it's going to be well glitchy. So this is going to be fun. Yeah, this is going to be a lot of fun. Anyway, guys, that's all i got time for today. Please like and subscribe. Let me know in the comments below when you're going to be getting the event B. I imagine it's something you purchased with Robux and then guess what? Well, you know, then you probably could earn it in the shop. Maybe. I don't know. Some way. Somehow. Anyway, guys, that's all I've got time for today. Please like and subscribe and until next time, it's bye for now. Do it! Just